Hi, let's read Dinosaur Eggs. The jeep turned and then pulled to a stop. The people in the jeep were fossil hunters. They were searching for fossils of birds from dinosaur times. They hoped to find a fossil or two or three. They never imagined how lucky they would be. The fossil hunters stepped down from the jeep. They looked around. They saw what looked like many round rocks. Each one was the size of a grapefruit. One of the fossil hunters took a closer look. He gasped. The rocks were fossil eggs, but they were not bird eggs. They were dinosaur eggs. There were thousands of them. The team had found a dinosaur nesting ground. For fossil hunters, this was like striking gold. Some of those eggs still had baby dinosaurs inside them. The babies had never hatched. They had become fossils. During the next few weeks, the team found dozens <coughs> of baby dinosaurs in eggs. Some babies even had skin. No one had ever found that before. There were fossils of tiny skulls, little skulls, and leg bones. One egg held 32 tiny teeth. What did the fossil hunters learn from these eggs? <coughs> Now they knew that these were sauropod eggs. Sauropods were the largest dinosaurs ever to walk the earth. There's a Tyrannosaurus rex, Stegosaurus, sauropod, Compsognathus. Sauropods had long necks and long tails. They weighed up to 30 tons. That's as much as six elephants. Sauropods were huge. But they were not fierce. They ate only plants. See, here's the big one. Sauropods traveled in groups. Young dinosaurs traveled with grown-up ones. The grown-ups protected them from meat-eating enemies. How did scientists figure that out? They looked at tracks. The big footprints of sauropods showed they walked together. Now fossil hunters saw that sauropods nested in groups, too. The nesting ground proved that. The sauropods waited at the same place for their babies to hatch. Together, the big dinosaurs fought off meat eaters. The meat eaters could not get to the eggs. These eggs were from a type of sauropod called a titanos titanosaur. Titanosaur. Titanic means big. Some titanosaurs grew to be over 50 feet long. That's bigger than a tractor trailer. <clears throat> but titanosaurs started small. They were only 15 inches long at birth. They did not stay tiny for long. Titanosaur babies grow, grew quickly. They grew to their full size in 8 to 10 years. That's some growth spurt. Growing fast was important for young dinosaurs. Small babies were often in danger. Other dinosaurs might eat them. Yikes. Scientists discovered something else that was interesting. Grown-up titanosaurs had bony plates in their skin, like crocodiles. But... The baby titanosaurs in the eggs didn't. Their skin was bumpy like a football. So now scientists knew the plates must have grown after the babies hatched. So why didn't these babies hatch from these eggs? What happened at the nesting ground? This nesting ground was by a river. Around 80 million years ago, a huge group of titanosaurs nested there. These dinosaurs ate the leaves and needles from high trees. The big dinosaurs also watched over their eggs. These eggs were very close to hatching. 
All of a sudden, the river was overflowing. A flood of water and mud washed over the nesting ground. The large titanosaurs ran away. They had to leave their eggs. The nesting ground was covered by mud and dirt. None of the eggs could hatch. The mud seeped into the tiny holes in the eggshells. Mud covered the baby dinosaurs. No air could get inside the eggs. This kept the skin and bones of the babies from rotting. After many, many years, the eggs and the babies inside them became fossils. And millions of years after that, a jeep with fossil hunters drove up to the nesting ground, and they made a wonderful discovery. There are still many facts that the dinosaur hunters hope to learn. Did titanosaurs bring food to their babies? Did they keep their eggs warm? But what the team found that day has changed what we know about sauropods. Museums will need to fix their displays. The fossil hunters will come back to the nesting ground. There are still thousands of eggs to look at. There probably are more baby dinosaurs in some of those eggs. Who knows what other dinosaur secrets are hidden in that rocky land? That was called Dinosaur Eggs. And I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe and come back often. We'll see you next time on Stories with Grandma.